Okay, um, yeah, we're still in step mode, and he's kind of jerking around all crazy right now and moving too fast. So let's take a look at that in the Maya file. Um, first of all, let's uh, click on the character, select all. Oh god, there's a lot of keyframes in there. Um, let's change the tangent to auto. And uh, let's make this longer. And hold, make sure, you, the, the key here when you select this stuff and scale it out is that you have all of those controls selected. So let's scale that out some and then right mouse click, snap. But yeah, you have to have all the, it still looks kind of fast. There's just so many keyframes in here. I don't really know what's happening. And and there, it's and when you move the character, you know, each pose like should adjust all controls. So when it goes from here to here, or let's say, I don't even get what's supposed to be happening here. He just seems like to be moving around kind of randomly. S really, and uh, maybe not what you want to hear. I don't. I think you should start over. I don't really think there's any useful animation in this at all. I have no idea what's happening or what he's supposed to be doing. There's not a sense of, like the way he sits down, it just, it doesn't look believable. And there's all this weird jerky stuff going on, way too many keyframes, too many poses. You've got to really study the reference, or shoot reference if you haven't already, or find some reference, and just match that. You know, I think you're, I, I, it's just moving around. I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything useful in this file right now. Just start with a fresh just to lead out the animation and start posing it one at a time. If you haven't watched the um, the module on how to you know um, pose your character and set keyframes, that would be a really good thing to watch because um, this just looks like random movements. It's not. It doesn't look like animation. It doesn't look. The character doesn't really pose. It's just and the timing doesn't seem like it was considered at all, either. So, um, I just think you need to back up and start over. Because I don't see anything in here that's sort of... You, you'll just be fighting all these keyframes trying to get them to look anything at this point. Look like anything at this point. Um, you mentioned the grease pencil thing. I mean... Um, I don't... I, I mean... I don't think you're in a position where you really need it. And then the in-between thing. Just don't use that. Just focus on your poses. And and if you need an in between pose, just pose it like you would pose any other pose. You know, you don't have to use the fancy tool for for that. You d you really just need to get the basics right at this point. <laughs>